Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology today we are here with the most important transit of this year 2024 and it's the transit of Jupiter in the sign of Taurus from 1st of May 2024 to 14th of May 2025 so let's get into the sequence of ascendance so for aries aries moon sign aries ascendant primarily from the ascendant this transit is happening in your second house second house a very 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 important house the second house is the house of your net worth and it shows the accumulated assets completely and from the second he is aspecting your sixth eighth and the tenth house and jupiter for you lords the ninth and the twelfth houses so because he's aspecting the tenth house well there could be some promotion which could come there could be a new job which you might find or you could start your own business or you could find additional job opportunities within your existing job you may get additional responsibilities okay within the same job that you are in because of the sixth house because the sixth house can show the same job but with more responsibilities with more money with more respect with more resources okay and also because uh, he's aspecting your eighth house directly from the second house therefore you could have humongous gains from the stock market okay very 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 important stock market gains could could be there and the second house is also the house of the family so whenever jupiter transits a particular house there is expansion in that house now this expansion could mean that your family is expanding which means either you are getting married or somebody in your family is getting married or you are having childbirth okay or somebody in your family is having childbirth so therefore if you are looking to get married then this is the classic transit of jupiter in the second seventh or eleventh which clearly tells us that it's the best time for you to get married so if you are already in a relationship and you are planning to take the commitment to the next level well this is the best period and of course if you are already married and you wish to have children this is the perfect time for this because guru is also the karaka for children he's the natural significator of children so this makes it a perfect time and also because jupiter is aspecting the 10th house along with the 8th house so there could be sudden gains like you know unexpected gains things which you never uh, expected but you always wanted deep down within inside of your heart you may get something of uh, that sort okay and also the uh, lordship of the 12th house can bring in uh, some losses because of the aspect to the 8th house but they necessarily uh, don't have to be bad losses they can also be business expenses okay so therefore if you are uh, planning to uh, start your own business as i've already mentioned then this is a very good time because now you will have some expenditure which is for good reasons for your business so if you if you plan to buy equipments like for example you want to start a youtube channel you want to get into social media so maybe you can buy a small camera a good mobile or a good microphone whichever ways uh, to whatever extent it's affordable for you and then you can kick start your journey okay so therefore for aries because the transit is in the house of expansion so basically everything is going to expand okay a uh, second house shows your belief system so your belief systems will also expand okay so you may become more moderate you may become more liberal or you may become more conservative depending on uh, what mahadasha you are running which antardasha you are running okay but nonetheless there will be expansion externally and there will be 
expansion internally in your life okay so therefore this is a great time to learn new things this is a great time to look out for newer opportunities to gain money and uh, this is a great time to get married or have children and also network with anyone and everyone so try to help others and also request for help when required jupiter will surely bless you with better networks and net worth also okay thank you so much aries so now we come to taurus for taurus mm, time to hit the gym <laughs> jupiter is transiting your first house and from the first he is aspecting your fifth seventh and ninth and for you jupiter is a functional malefic he is the eighth lord and the 11th lord okay now when he's transiting your first house this is a classic sutra in the uh, scriptures which says whenever jupiter is in the first house a thousand doshas are nullified okay thousand thousand curses are nullified bad things are removed automatically okay so which means blessings will dawn upon you there no nobody can stop blessings from coming to you which means doors will open or you will make your own doors okay so if there is anything which is not happening for you then this is the perfect time to implement this is beyond perfect also why because jupiter is the lord of your 11th house the 11th house is the house of gains uh, fulfillment of desires and lagna is yourself your head your brain so 11th lord entering the lagna aspecting the 5th 7th 9th is the perfect time for you to get newer and newer gains exponential gains rather and because from the first house jupiter will aspect your 5th and 9th so you could have self discovery okay the trines are the houses of self discovery the trines tell you who you are who you should be what is good for you what is not good for you what what are your interests so basically everything about you and from the first house because jupiter aspects the fifth house so there could be childbirth if you are already married so if you are planning to have children this is the best time and of course the classic seventh house is also receiving the uh, aspect of jupiter so if you are in a relationship and you want to get married well 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 this is the time for you so if your dashas are agreeing and you and your partner are comfortable this is the best time for marriage and there's no there's no denying this okay now because he's the 8th lord and also aspecting the 9th house so this is also indicating to me that you will take to some spiritual path and you should take to some spiritual path and along with that he's also aspecting your fifth house which again apart from being the house of children is also the house of creativity okay so it could be that there is mixture of everything so for example you could have some hobby because of which uh, you could convert it into a side hustle and you can earn money from it or you could try to take that hobby into your spiritual practices you know so for example you like to sing then you may be singing bhajans and you may uh, try to connect with god with lord krishna with lord ram with lord shiva or with any uh, personality that you identify yourself with and by that you are elevating yourself uh, spiritually uh, in a more creative way and also because 11th house shows network circles so it shows some big network is coming to you or rather adding to that you are also going to a network so it means you could go to some spiritual community join some spiritual organization do spiritual practices regularly and elevate your consciousness so the most important thing for you here is to um, become a better human being is to learn more things and to understand yourself self discovery discover yourself and because jupiter is the natural karaka for uh, fat and weight gain uh, so therefore and you know the lagna is the appearance the first house 
so there could be a possibility that if you are not careful about your eating habits then you may gain weight and jupiter is also the karaka for sugar and sweet uh, products okay so if you have a sweet tooth maybe you need to watch out and also along with that you need to uh, burn off your excess calories by going to the gym by doing yoga or by doing any kind of exercise that you are comfortable with all right so great time for you uh from overall perspectives of your life so use this time properly and benefit yourself all right all the best taurus so now we go to gemini so for gemini what's going on this transit <coughs> is in your 12th house and from the 12th it will aspect the 4th 6th and the 8th houses <coughs> and for you jupiter is lording the 7th and he's also lording your 10th house so jupiter is a very 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 important planet for you gemini he's the lord of two kindra houses just like mercury for you okay so therefore for you gemini as this photo is self explanatory you should go towards introspection you should go towards spirituality you should go towards research so for gemini if you want to make the best use of this transit there are three things you need to do introspect look deep within yourself because 12th house is the subconscious mind okay so the 12th house <coughs> will tell you what you are doing wrong in life the 12th house will show you your shortcomings and the 12th house will tell you the things that you need to improve in your life to go to the next level so if you feel there's something holding you back then don't stay there seek help seek guidance and i'm sure you will improve now from the 12th house jupiter is aspecting your 4th house which is again the house of education 6th house and 8th house which are again houses of research and discipline so therefore apart from introspection and spirituality uh, jupiter will also impact your career because he is also the 10th lord so the 10th lord going to the 12th house can mean either you are getting a new job or there is um, or you are leaving your job and you are starting your own business okay so it could mean either of this that is why i have given a question mark when it comes to career now research will be a very 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 important part of your life during this transit and because the aspect is also going to the 8th house from the 12th so inheritance could also be a very important part okay so it could be that you get some inheritance but again because it is a 12th house so you will have to make sure that you handle it in a proper way and you do not um, get into legalities because from the 12th house uh, the 6th house is receiving the aspect so it is very important that you understand that there could be some legal issues you know like some contract issues so if there are some legal arenas in your life at the moment then please make sure that you are uh, reading more about it you are understanding more about it properly from a law perspective from a legal perspective so talk to lawyers or tax advisors accountants chartered accountants and <coughs> understand that now is the time that you have to take control of your life okay so for you you need to understand that this is a period in my life this 12 13 months of jupiter's transit this is a period where i have to check where am i losing in life okay and because jupiter is your 10th lord so this will give you big visions in life which means for example you know where is the problem and then now you are trying to improve your problem okay so therefore if there are some serious issues in your life 
or if there is any fear that you have so now is the time you go and counter that fear the more you fear something the more you will continue to fear it okay so therefore do spiritual practices as the photo says you know you can see all the chakras that are there in the body so do spiritual practices do meditation uh, join a spiritual community and elevate your consciousness because this is also the seventh lord which shows network circles and other people so it could happen that you go to a different country or a different state or a different city and you meet some spiritual people but nonetheless try to take enlightenment from wherever you can all right all the best gemini all right so we are back with cancer so what's going on cancer cancer ascendant this transit is in your 11th house and do i need to say something about the 11th house jupiter's transit in the 11th house is the best of all transits so cancer you are the winner for this year congratulations because 11th house is the house of fulfillment of desire it is the house of fulfillment of all your wishes goals ambitions what you need to be careful is that everybody will have their desire fulfilled but to a some extent okay now that will depend on your dashas and your horoscope okay so for example uh, if you are running a great dasha for your profession it may be it may mean that you get some three four levels promotions okay or uh, if you are running the dasha of the second seventh or eleventh houses then you might get married okay so everybody's desire will be fulfilled but to the extent uh, that your dasha agrees but nonetheless if i assume that your dasha is relatively good then there is grand success there is uh, the third house is receiving the aspect of jupiter including the fifth and the seventh from the eleventh and for you cancer is uh, jupiter is the lord of the sixth and ninth okay so there could be massive gains especially in your profession because the sixth lord is transiting the eleventh so your enemies could be crushed and you may become victorious over them okay and because it is also the ninth lord so ninth lord transiting in the 11th ninth lord shows your bhagya your destiny or luck so it shows luck will now favor you and because 11th house is the second from the 10th so it shows you can have a lot of power position prestige fulfillment of desire when it comes to profession you can also go viral in social media because the third house receives the aspect and <coughs> because the fifth house also receives the aspect you could also enter into a love relationship now 11th house is the house of marriage also so it is no surprise that if your dasha is positive you might also get married but nonetheless irrespective of what your dasha indicates which you can only know from your horoscope analysis but you need to understand one thing that this whole 13 months is your time so do not waste a single moment understand that you are fortunate beyond limits because you will be successful okay so it could be any area of your life i know you you are seeing all these eight parameters and you see the transit numbers aspect lordships but forget all this cancer this is the only ascendant for whom i would say forget all what is written in this chart just forget astrology just remember that <clears throat> this is your time to be successful now of course how much successful you are that you cannot control but you can put your efforts and because 11th house is the house of network circles also so it is very much possible that you can get connected to some very big personality okay so for example uh, you you should go to network events also the ninth lord transiting 11th you should go to some spiritual communities and by that you will understand that you are able to uh, make good friendships because after all 11th house is the house of friendships right so a friend in need is a friend indeed so help people to whatever extent possible and also ask for help if required so essentially this year if you are planning to get married best time if you want to have childbirth best time if you are planning to 
go ask for a promotion the best of all periods okay there can be no better period best 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 you will get this period only after 12 years again so don't take this cheaply okay or if you want to resign and you want to open your own business your own startup well best 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 time okay of course please do this uh, in consultation with your astrologer because i don't want that uh you don't see your chart and you leave your job and you know then you are in trouble later on so overall uh, look at your chart and uh, understand this is the period of gains and you will be extremely successful if you play your cards well okay so wish you all the best cancer network with people apply for the promotion get married and have children and earn money and improve your life okay thank you so now we come to leo for leo leo is the sun but here i have not mentioned the sun here i have the lion of oh wow that's still leo right <laughs> but why have i mentioned the lion's photo here is it just because you uh, he is your signs for animal well not related to that because this transit of jupiter is happening in your 10th house what is the 10th house 10th house is the house of the king 10th house is the house of the lion because lion is the king of the jungle right so therefore if you have any plans to be the king of your company king of the world <laughs> or king of the universe well now is the time that you execute so what is the 10th house 10th house is the house of power position name fame authority so now is the time that you should try to switch to a managerial low role or a leadership role okay so for example if you are in a it company and you are a software engineer software developer from the last uh, three to four years and you are planning to ask for promotion raise well this is this time is beyond perfect for you okay so uh, don't take it cheaply don't take it lightly go and ask for the promotion provided of course you have worked in the last two to three four years and now is the time you will get it now if you are already a senior developer now maybe it's a time to apply for a manager position okay and if you are senior manager go higher go higher if you are cto try to become the ceo okay so this transit of jupiter in the 10th is probably as good as the transit of jupiter in the 11th for cancer so after cancer i would say leo people you are the most lucky for this year when i say this year i mean uh, when this transit happens because jupiter transits for 12 13 months as you know right so beyond perfect timing for profession and if you want promotion as i said already best time if you want more power you want more authority you want to have more influence on people then go for it if there is a vacant position apply and also since from the 10th jupiter is aspecting your fourth house so there could be a dream home which you could purchase because the sixth house also receives the aspect of jupiter and sixth house is the house of loans okay <clears throat> and from the 10th it also aspects your second house which is again the house of uh, wealth so this could mean that you are becoming very wealthy you are doing something massive in your profession okay so therefore understand that this is an incredible time for your profession and also because he's the fifth lord and the eighth lord transiting the tenth so this could mean you are having a lot of gains from the stock market or the crypto market as you know the bull run is going on now of course there are some dips now in bitcoin but if you are aware of uh, the stock market or the crypto market and you have some capital which you would like to invest then maybe this is the best time for you of course this is not financial advice you need to do your own due diligence before you invest but if you have money aside and you have a good dasha which is running then and you are ready to take the risk then this is the perfect time and there could also be some inheritance which you get 
because the eighth lord is transiting the tenth house and this could be a time where you try to manage your inheritance also if you already have inheritance okay now what is also very interesting is your fifth lord is transiting the tenth house which means you could try to convert your creative side hustle into a profitable uh, business okay so if you have a hobby try to convert it to a side hustle if you wish you don't have to but in case you wish you can do that and if you already have a side hustle it's time for you to uh, make it into a full-fledged income and it could happen that you can resign from your job and do this full time okay so there is the possibility i would not deny okay so wish you all the best and i'm very sure you will be uh, massively successful during this period so understand that you should now work on your profession and you will be successful all right so congratulations leos and wish you all the best now for virgo what's going on virgo lagna jupiter is transiting your ninth house ninth house is the house of luck fortune bhagya destiny is the house of god it's the house of your guru it's the house of your father it's the house of your guide your counselors it's the house of higher education the scriptures from the ninth he aspects the first house the third and of course the other try in the fifth house and for you jupiter is the lord of the fourth and the seventh house so for you depending on your dashas it will be either higher education or there could be grand spiritual progress which would, could come your way so if you are employed and you feel now is the time to upgrade your skill set then don't think go and apply for the master's program and you will be selected and in your date of birth if you have the number seven so for example if you are born on 7 january or anywhere in july or anywhere in the 70s or 1987 or even if your basic number is 7 uh, which is like you know you are born on 7 16th or 25th or your destiny number which is the sum of your date of birth <coughs> if that comes to 7 then you can most likely go to a developed country okay so therefore if you want to go to any developed country and you have seven in your date of birth well fantastic just go and apply and you will get that position okay it could also be a job opportunity but the probability is higher for education so if you are already having masters you want to do phd again perfect time no better time if you are not having any association with the spiritual community and you would like to join some spiritual community then perfect time because the fourth lord is transiting the ninth uh, which can also give you uh, interest in learning occult and especially astrology okay and because the fifth house is also receiving jupiter's aspect so it is highly probable that you might also have children depending if your dashas are favorable for childbirth okay and from the ninth it throws the classic aspect to your first house which is your lagna so it means it's the time to hit the gym because jupiter is also the karka for weight and uh, weight gain especially fat and liver okay so if you are not careful you may overindulge okay and you might uh, develop a fatty liver sometimes or uh, you may uh, have gallbladder issues okay so therefore hit the gym eat the sweets but uh, hit the gym and try not to indulge beyond uh, what is appropriate and of course it also aspects the third house so consulting is there on cards and creativity is also there on cards because the fifth house receives the aspect so wherever jupiter x aspects he expands that okay so he will aspect your first house so he will expand your vision in life he will expand your thought process he aspects the third house 
so he will expand your social media creativity and he will also aspect your ability to consult other people give guidance to others okay and then he will also expand your creativity so you could certainly discover that you are certainly doing a lot of things which you did not expect or uh, to do in the creative front okay so if you are planning to have any creative hobbies or you have some interest but you are thinking if should you uh, go forward for it then well it's the perfect time you can go ahead and uh, engage in that activity completely and nonetheless because ninth house is also the house of travel so you could go for a travel you know pilgrimage or you could go to another country <coughs> so overall if i would like to summarize it is a time for you to gain knowledge broaden your horizon and then once you do this it's a period for you to give the knowledge out to others okay so wish you all the best virgo now for libra libra what's going on this transit is in the eighth house and from there jupiter aspects in the second fourth and the twelfth houses and jupiter is lording your third house and your sixth house so incredible period for you to do research do not waste this time because for you if you do research see wherever jupiter transits he kind of expands that house okay so if you are in a profession where there is a requirement in the R&D department of your company, then please apply for that position and I'm sure you will get it. And of course, eighth house is also the house of inheritance. So there could be some inheritance which could come your way or if you already have inheritance, you could be focusing on it and you might be seeing uh, how you can um, use that inheritance to improve your life then eighth house is also the house of darkness okay darkness because uh, you may feel that you are not able to see anything there so then for you this is the best time to uh, go for self-discovery because you need to discover yourself because before you uh, discover others <coughs> and nonetheless the most important thing for the eighth house is unearned money okay so you might have a lot of capital gains so uh, depending on if your dasha is good or uh, extraordinary you can have a lot of gains from the stock market or the crypto market and as you can see in the photo you know the bull run is going on currently in cryptocurrency okay and uh, also in india the stock market is booming uh, with some corrections of course <coughs> from the past uh, six months and it will continue to grow and it's the same uh, with the s p 500 also but nonetheless you have to understand that the eighth house is a very powerful house because it can give you things which uh, nobody else can give okay so therefore for you if you uh, have plans to uh, sell some of the investments then you can do that depending on your situation and also because uh, the 12th house is re receiving the aspect so uh, there could be some business expenses uh, which could come okay so business expenses which are like good expenses and then there could be family and in-laws related work so it could happen that your family your mother especially because the fourth house is also re receiving the aspect the family and in-laws they might require some attention from you okay and because second house is also the house of childbirth so there could be childbirth if you are uh, Mahadasha and Antardasha for you and your spouse, uh, if both of them are positive. And nonetheless, if you uh, if you have this uh, transit, if you are a Libra Lagna, then be prepared to uh, give attention to your family. So if there is some issue in your family which somebody is raising, don't ignore it, don't discard it just because you have workload okay so try to balance out your energies and also it is very important 
that you need to understand that there could be change of residence because the 8th and the 12th uh, they deal with displacement okay so you might get a new job uh, but the job may be in a different place and uh, you might <coughs> you might have to change your location now this could also mean that you might change your job within the same company at times or you may uh, go and join a completely new company itself okay because the sixth house sixth lot shows things which you do regularly on a daily basis and very important that you understand that your mother may ne need some more attention and the house when i say home uh, it was your family but now i say the house okay why the house because uh, the house is also seen from the fourth house so if the eight from the eighth when it aspects the fourth house so it could happen that you might need some repairs in your house or your vehicle in any in your vehicles okay so all the best to libra do research and discover yourself and try to give attention to your family in laws and to your house and your mother especially okay all the best now what's going on for scorpio for scorpio this is of course do i need to say <laughs> this is the transit of jupiter which is the classic transit in the seventh house and what is the seventh house seventh house is the house of marriage so if you are a scorpio lagna and you plan to get married or advance your relationship towards marriage give that lifelong commitment with sincerity and faith and love then this is this is the best time in the next 12 years okay so uh, understand that this is a perfect time for you to uh, convert your relationship into marriage and if you are looking through arranged marriage then also most likely you might find somebody okay now from the seventh uh, we we just don't see marriage we also see business partners okay <coughs> so maybe uh, if you are already having a business it's time for you to expand and uh, open a new outlet somewhere and bring new people into your existing business and apart from that from the seventh it throws the direct aspect to your lagna so you might become very cautious and conscious and aware about your appearance the way you look the way you think and the way you behave and of course the third house is also receiving the aspect so your communication will improve you would like to uh, do things in a more sophisticated way in a more professional way and because of this you can actually attract a lot of social media followers and the 11th house also receives the aspect so this is another phenomenal period because the 11th house is the house of gains associations network circles okay so if the 11th house is <coughs> also receiving the aspect so it means you can have more gains through partnerships through network circles and you can also have a lot of authority because the first house is also involved okay so the first house can give you <coughs> a lot of authority and the 11th house can give you gains okay so if you are planning to look for a new job or uh, apply for a promotion you can do it if you wish and most importantly since the fifth lord is aspecting the 11th so there could be gains through speculation and the third house is the house of consulting and third house shows things which you give to others okay so essentially you should expand your life your circles you know through marriage through family because jupiter is your second lord so second lord aspecting the 11th there could also be childbirth and because the fifth house is involved so there could be a love relationship again uh, if your dashas are positive but primarily this is 
this has to do with creativity okay so fifth house is the house of love and seventh house is the house of marriage so again love converting into marriage perfect time perfect scenario and uh, don't forget to hit the gym at the end because you may have a lot of um, enjoyment you may socialize quite a bit and because of that uh, there could be weight gains and you might uh, um, you may not like that okay so essentially <coughs> Uh, this transit in one word for you is about expansion and one interesting thing and one very important thing for you to do during this transit is to try to see the world from the view of other people okay now when i say this i don't mean to say that you forget yourself okay but you need to understand different perspectives of life because now jupiter is expanding your first house but through the seventh house so it's like saying your vision in life is getting expanded through the opinions of others okay so others can also have good opinions and suggestions so please take that into consideration and if you do this then you will be benefited beyond your imagination because this is the transit in the kendra which is the seventh house all right so improve yourself and listen to others be humble and learn and grow all right thank you so much scorpio now for sagittarius what's going on sagittarius lagna sagittarius rising sign this transit is happening in your sixth house from the sixth you are receiving the aspect in the second house and the tenth house of course and also the twelfth house mm -hmm. interesting very interesting and jupiter for you is a very important planet because as you know he's your lagna lord he's lord of your ascendant the rising sign and also he's the lord of your fourth house now what does the sixth house indicate sixth house is the clear house of job see what is the sixth house it's the house of anything which you keep doing every day so basically it shows routine repetitive work okay so which means uh, if you are unemployed then this is the perfect time for you to apply for that dream job and you can surely find a dream job okay or if you already have a job then maybe it's the best time for you to apply for promotions and nonetheless either you have a job or you have a, a business or you are looking for a job or you are somewhere in between which means you have your own business in the side you also have your job nonetheless wherever you are in whichever point of life the sixth house is the house of discipline because shani is the karaka saturn is one of the karakas for the sixth house so nobody can change the fact that it is the prime house of discipline <laughs> so therefore for you sagittarius now it is very 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 important that you try to bring bring in discipline in your life okay why do i say discipline not just because it is the sixth house but because Shani, uh, Jupiter is also your Lagnesh, your Lagna Lord, which means uh, he's the Lord of your entire existence. He's the first house ruler. Okay, so he wherever the Lagna Lord transits, uh, that is what you kind of focus on. Okay, in your life, and that is where you should focus rather. Okay, so therefore, uh, please make uh, to do lists and uh, please prepare, do proper planning. And also sixth house is the house of health so please focus on your health uh, get a consultation from a dietitian if you have health issues or weight problems and also uh, please do exercise sixth house is the prime house of exercise and if you don't do exercises during this time then because it's jupiter so you could suffer from uh, obesity or weight gain or fatty liver okay because jupiter is also the karaka for liver so and sixth house shows diseases so therefore uh, if there is already some uh, problem which you have in your gut in your liver in your gallbladder then now is the perfect time to get it tested or do some surgery if required because the 12th house also receives the aspect and along with that if you don't have any problems if everything is fine uh, do ultrasound at least and uh, you can continue with more discipline okay 
now because he's also your fourth lot transiting in the sixth so there could be some loan application related to your house which means you could be going ahead with your first home purchase okay or second third or even the hundredth home okay so therefore if you have plans to buy a house uh, this could be a good time because the our uh, 12th house is also the house of expenditure okay so now the 12th house is also the house of research so therefore if the lagnesh is expecting the 12th house it means you feel there is the need to do research okay so the 10th house also receives the aspect as the fourth lord so you might also have to do some research for your profession for your uh, job so it's a very good time to do some new certification and apply for that dream job if you wish so essentially this transit for you these 12 13 months of this transit is the time where you should focus on building life-changing habits discipline um, good health and good mindset and work hard okay this is the mantra sixth house is the house of war hard work so there is no compromise there should be uh, no procrastination okay try your best we are humans we will procrastinate but try your best to work hard and i'm sure you will succeed massively if you do this okay because uh saturn is the karaka for the sixth house and when you work hard then saturn rewards you profusely okay so depending on your dashas we need to see what issues you could face uh but nonetheless you need to work hard and you will eventually okay all the best sagittarius so now we go to capricorn what's going on capricorn fifth house transit jupiter aspects the lagna the ninth and the eleventh and he is the lord of your third and twelfth house so what is fifth house fifth house is the house of love romance it's the house of children it's the house of your passion okay so the fifth house the most important house in the uh, horoscope because the fifth house tells you why do you get up in the morning okay so generally what happens if you are in a relationship you know the generally couples whenever they get up the first thing they will send good morning text to their partner okay why because uh, whenever you are getting up and whenever you are about to sleep you will always remember somebody that you love okay so because the fifth house shows that thing or that person or that work which is always there in your mind okay so now now uh, it's not just about love relationship it is also about asking yourself what is that which motivates you in your life okay so if you feel that you lack motivation then this is the perfect time for you to seek and look out for different answers because uh, guru is aspecting your first house so it shows you want to take control of your life and it is also aspecting the ninth house now what is the ninth house the ninth house is the house of higher learning of higher education okay and also the 11th house of network circle so in a way uh, this transit of jupiter in the fifth house is the best transit uh, not just for money or for family but for overall areas of life because it aspects all the powerful houses the first ninth and the eleventh so therefore <clears throat> if you feel that you need to go to the next level you know you are doing good in life but you want to do great okay so it means you want a job promotion or you want to start your own business you want to achieve your fitness goals you know whatever it is nonetheless uh, you need to understand that this is the time for you okay so do not waste a single moment and make the best use of this period okay so if you have any passions which you are interested to follow then well uh, yes you can follow your passion and uh, if there is any hobby which you have not been practicing this is the time you can practice you can also convert your passion into profession to some extent because the 11th house also receives the aspect of jupiter 
and the fifth house is the classic house of stock market speculation and gains from uh, these areas you know so cryptocurrency stock market there could be gains the crypto bull run is just getting started for this year and also because the third lord is aspecting your first house so there will be some element of extempore or public speaking which will which you might be required requiring so therefore if you want to come to social media then this is the perfect time third lord the third and the fifth houses are the houses of creativity and creative self-expression so now when these two uh, houses are getting combined then this is the perfect time to uh, experience to let others experience your passion and your skills okay so therefore uh, if there is a period uh during these 12 months of the transit where you feel that no now i should get into youtube or make instagram reels then this is the perfect time you need to do it and you will be successful in that depending on your dashas okay now of course uh the fifth house also shows your vision and what do you believe is the definition of success so maybe it's a good time to rethink on what do you think uh, is success in life okay and most importantly uh, the 12th lord is aspecting the ninth house from the fifth house so this is the classic time for higher education and masters phd or postdoc or it could even be bachelor so please focus on your education uh, learn new things upgrade yourself and become a better person become loved by everybody and then you will see that gains in your life will start to flow from all directions okay so this is a great transit in the fifth house one of the best classic transits please do not misuse your time all right all the best capricorn so now we go to aquarius dream home <laughs> If you like this photo, then hit a thumb, hit the thumbs up. Please don't forget. So for you, the transit is happening in your fourth house. What is the fourth house? The fourth house is the house of your house. <laughs> it's the house of the house. So it could be that you are going in for your first home purchase. If you uh, are in your thirties or late twenties, and if you feel now is the time you sh will you should stop renting and buying a new house then well congratulations in advance and i'm very sure you will do it this year so it could also be your dream home or dream car one of them or it could be both of them okay it does not have to be just one it could be two also and apart from this maybe you are in a foreign country and uh you kind of you may feel that it is time for you to return to your homeland permanently or maybe it's a time when uh, you may feel that no i can i should return for some time and then again come back to my uh, foreign country but nonetheless you could take some trips to your homeland during this period and of course fourth house is also the house of your mother or motherly figures and personalities <laughs> so therefore maybe it's a great time for you to focus on your relationship that you have with your mother so try to improve the relationship try to uh, travel with your mother and uh, try to give her some nice gifts she would really appreciate that uh, gift in the form of luxury items or the best gift you can give is your time of course okay time and attention take care of her health and because the 8th and the 12th houses receive the aspect of jupiter so this is the classic time for research and development so in your company if there is a position open for research and development and you have some uh, interests to go into r d then this is the perfect time because you can actually uh, go deep into things and come out of it with a lot of knowledge and uh, research okay so now if you do research the kind of information that you will be able to give others will be uh, will be supreme okay so therefore use your time properly go into research and development and you will do excellent there and also because guru is the lord of your second and 11th and he's aspecting your 10th house by sitting in the fourth house this is a classic time 
to get into real estate investing okay so for some other ascendance as i said stock market crypto could be a good time but for you real estate investing uh, could be the best time so <clears throat> if you want to buy your first rental property then it's great but if you want to buy a rental property from uh, investment perspective even then it is a great time and uh, also if you want to be a realtor you want to do wholesaling you want to go with the brrrr strategy which is there uh, quite prevalent in in the usa now uh, you could do that depending on your <coughs> uh, financial situation and your financial goals and your age so therefore any form of real estate investing if you, uh, you if you, you if you want you can also invest into reits uh, you can do that in the west and also in india it's available and uh, you could also buy land and do construction okay so any 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 real estate investing for yourself or for others is also good and uh, because the fourth house is also the house house of education any kind of education so now is the time you can go for higher education because the 12th house is receiving the aspect okay and because the planetary lordships of jupiter is the second and 11 so you could learn about fintech you know edutech and all this okay so financial education could be uh, very important for you also the 10th house receives the aspect so there could be a inevitable job change and you could get a uh, you could have this feeling inside you that uh, well yes uh, now is the time i should change my job and depending on your dashas it will be decided what will be the level of job change okay so for aquarius essentially home real estate learning upgradation and real estate and fintech and your mother especially these will be in limelight and wish you all the best thank you now for pisces what's going on with pisces last but not the least pisces ascendance for you this transit is in the third house and from the third the seventh ninth and the eleventh houses are receiving the aspect and jupiter is the most important planet in your chart because he is the lord of the first house he is the lagna lord right so very 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 important planet for you he is a planet which you cannot compromise with okay so because the lagna lord and the tenth lord is aspecting the 11th house there could be grand success in your life okay but this success will not just come flowing to your lap it will come with hard work why because the third house is the house of hard work it's the house of courage basically so you could go into facebook apple amazon you know netflix google all these interviews <coughs> or you could also go into consulting because third house is the house of consulting uh, any kind of advice that you can give to others third house is social media okay nonetheless it is the prime house of creative self-expression okay fifth house is creativity third house is the expression and then you have the third house also for startups because startup is something which you are starting up it's the product of your courage and your knowledge and your belief <clears throat> so therefore now is the time if you wish if you if you had dreamt of opening a startup and you want to take a calculated risk then this is the perfect time there can be no better time to uh, have a startup than now okay and also uh, third house is also expansion so if you want to expand your existing business um, or do more mergers acquisitions or do collaborations well this is the perfect time and third house is also planning and execution okay so now is the time that you have to plan your strategy so depending on your chart you may get a lot of success this year or you may not see external success but you can for sure certainly uh, believe that you will do lot of planning 
and eventually you will also do some execution if not this year then certainly in the upcoming two to three years okay and last but not the least collaborations as i already said collaborations are very 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 important and especially uh, if you have the fear that somebody is trying to compete with you somebody is trying to steal your clients your customers then why not do some collaboration with them okay so essentially if i would like to summarize this transit for you this is the time to give okay third house is the house where you give yourself to others okay it's the house of service industry consulting it's the house where you provide some value to others okay so for you the conclusion is that you should try to become more valuable see they say third house is the house of certifications right why 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 because certifications uh, as much as you like it or you don't uh, adds value to your resume and to your profile right so therefore they say third house means you should do some certifications okay but at the end you need to learn and uh, give value to others okay the seventh house eleventh house is also receiving the aspect but including the ninth house now the ninth house is the house of learning so you need to learn and give so for you the most important mantra is to share whatever you have with yourself to with others okay so share it with your near and dear ones uh, you can share your information you can share your time do some charity uh, charity of your wealth or your time or your experience okay so therefore give yourself to others and try to make one person's life better so if you want to uh, take anything from this video then understand that try to just just take one person for the next 12 months uh, during this transit and try to challenge yourself to improve that person's life financially physically mentally emotionally or overall all right so wish you all the best pisces good luck